Hello everyone, I'm Sean Ashok Surplus, and today we are going to answer one of the most popular questions we get, which is what is the difference between the Fox 2.0 IFP and the Bilstein 5100 monotube high pressure gas shocks? These are both monotube design. They're both very high pressure nitrogen gas um, shocks. Uh, they both have internal floating pistons, um, and they are both uh, basically factory-like upgrades. Now there are quite a few differences between these as well. Um, on the surface, a 5100 series shock, you can typically have it for anywhere between $70 and $90 per corner. The Fox 2.0, uh, you're probably going to see anywhere between $110 to $150 per corner. Um, the Fox 2.0, is serviceable and tunable. Typically, uh, the cost for servicing and tuning these shocks will uh, sometimes outweigh the benefit because rebuilding this shock and with parts and labor run between $75 and $90 per shock. So that's not too far off buying a brand new set. So maybe a secondhand user will rebuild and uh, service some new shocks. Well, Fox doesn't talk about a lot is how most of their shocks, I would say all of their shocks, need servicing between 30,000 miles and 50,000 miles for them to work uh, top notch. Now that's not to say after 50,000 miles they aren't going to work. Um, the damping force will just be reduced um, significantly. If you ran a brand new shock side by side, a 50,000 mile shock, that 50,000 mile shock is going to allow more body roll, a little bit more nose dive, probably a, lot, a little bit more wheel hop through the tough terrain. So the shocks will work. You may not even notice it, but there is uh, loss of damping force over the life of this shock. The Bilstein shock is not serviceable, um, but that's quite okay because the, the cost for one of these is basically uh, equivalent of rebuild costs on a 2.0. Uh, we get a lot of customers that are getting 75,000 miles, 100,000 miles easily out of these shocks. We had a customer the other day that was telling me that they got uh, 150,000 miles on their first 5100 upgrade and they just wanted to replace them, um, not changing a thing. So that goes, um, goes a long way in talking about the quality and the longevity of Bilstein. Um, we don't get a lot of bad feedback on the 5100s. The question we get a lot is, uh, which is the smoothest riding shock? Uh, we typically would suggest the Bilstein for a mostly daily driver um, commuter. Um, and we would suggest the Fox 2.0 for a vehicle that is concerned with smooth riding and uh, great control in aggressive terrain. This will give improved handling on the highways, no doubt. Um, the Bilstein, I think, is geared towards that a little bit better because of its digressive uh, tuning nature, which means that uh, entry-level inputs like body, like turns, body roll, nosedive, um, the damping forces in th those ranges of motion are a little bit more compared to Fox's linear damping. So, as the on a linear dampened shock. As the shaft uh, progresses through the range of travel, the damping forces ramp up and increase uh, much more uh, compared to where a digressive um, valve shock, whereas the damping force might be um, start off much greater at the beginning ranges of motion and then kind of trail off until uh, the end ranges. So um, depending on your terrain and what you really want out of your vehicle is uh, is going to determine which one we offer. There's definitely no uh, cut and dry which shock is the smoothest for all applications. Um, a heavily loaded down Ford F350 with a ton of gear and 37 inch tires um, is going to perform a lot differently than a stock F250 on factory height tires with a leveling kit. Um, the Fox 2.0 is going to be better geared for that heavier vehicle that sees a lot more tough terrain and you're seeing a lot more weight shifting on the vehicle, on the axle, um, whereas the, the 5100 is, uh, while can still can handle that, can still handle larger wheels and tires, it just won't be as good if you are um, really concerned with uh, handling and ride control. Covering all of that, um, big price differences, 
5100 is much cheaper, and you could typically have two of these shocks for one of these shocks. So if you're unsure of how much off-roading you're gonna do, how much, um, what you, you're really looking for out of a performance kind of suspension setup, we always recommend the 5100 uh, at, uh, at first because much cheaper, really good shock, lots of great feedback. The, the Fox 2.0 is sometimes too firm, uh, too harsh for some vehicles. Um, and the significant price difference is also another factor. With that being said, uh, no two applications are alike. So if you guys have questions regarding your truck, uh, your light, uh, light truck, your heavy duty truck, your tow, tow haul vehicle, uh, let us know in the comments or send us an email at support at shocksurplus.com and we'd love to give you further guidance on that. Thanks so much for watching.